then my reaction will be accordingly. I will react from my desperation, from my anger. We clear, right? So I invite you now to stretch a moment, get up, get up, physically, physically. There is not much room, but we'll do it anyway, okay? So think about a person that you're judging. Think about a, a precious person, okay? A close person, not just a, someone in the supermarket, although this is also valid. They're human beings as well, by the way. They have families sometimes in meeting. <coughs> and imagine yourselves on the left side of the triangle, okay? Are you with me? Anyone needs more clarity? Put the, put the picture of the triangle on your body and you feel yourself on the say on this left side. Okay? This one's on the right side. If you put it on your body, it's on the left side. Right? Left side, okay? Okay. On the left side is us. Now we're gonna stretch and look physically, turn to the right and look at the other person who you're thinking about. Physically, turn to the right. No matter if you don't have space, turn to the right, see the other person. <laughs> okay? Imagine you're seeing the other person you're thinking about. And notice your judgments about this person and breathe. Just notice. Now comes the interesting part of the, of the practice. We're going to take a step to the right as if we're entering the body of the other person. Are we clear? Do it. Step into the body of that person, and now imagine the inner text of that person. As if I am this person, in first person. Judging me, judging herself or himself, being angry, being desperate, needing whatever. Feel it. Give yourself some time to feel as if I am this person. Damn it, I'm tired of all. <laughs> See me. Get it. Whatever text this person might be saying, take a moment for that. What might this person be saying to me? What might this person be saying about the world? About his or her pains, yearnings? Take a small step back to the left to where you are and look again at this person and see if anything has changed in my sensation towards this person. And back to the right. Be again this person. Let it in infiltrate you. The whole body becomes that person. Again, is there anything else that this person wants to say to you, to someone else? And slowly sit down and write something that you saw. Anything.
<coughs> so who managed to see something that you had not seen before? Please raise your hands. Uh -huh. Who was, let's say, touched a bit by what you saw? Please raise your hands. I really, really want to know. Thank you so much. The more you practice it, you can practice it anytime. Anytime. Really? And does it, do you feel how it opens <coughs> your heart? <coughs> yes or no? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, say. Oh, you're just saying yes. Yeah? You want to say something? Yeah, every time that I go through that, feeling the knee. That feeling there? The knee. The knee, of, the knee of the other person? Yeah. It's like so much pain in the heart? Yes. 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 Wow. Yes. But it's pain of opening. Opening. Not yeah. pain I of know. contracting. No, no, it's no. Like no. <laughs> I know because I felt it before, but for this time it was like, but it, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I bless this pain because before yeah, that yeah, pain, I'm closed. I, le I learned to embrace it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You want your thing, yes. So what I felt was uh, really that that my need, that, that how I did not express and the pain was caused really by my, my inability to express that. Your inability to express, mm -hmm. wow. So can you be compassionate to that right now? Yes. Good, I love it. And not judging yourself for your yeah. wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Now that's a big one. <coughs> it's a big Especially one. for me. Yeah, like could it be that I assume that if a person loves me, they will know my needs? Mm -hmm. Yes, Harley. How many movies have you seen of Hollywood? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is a deeper explanation. So when we were in the womb. We did not have to ask for anything. So there is a yearning to that no need to ask for anything. Mm -hmm. As yeah. if this is love. <coughs> Big confusion. Because nobody sees to your inside to know really what you want. So you have to ask for it. Yeah, that's the second painful learning when we come out of the womb. I need to start asking for my needs. So I start crying. It's a nice one because then there is communication. In the womb, there's no real communication. No, both sided. So that's like cutting mm -hmm. the umbilical cord, basically? Yes, with much love. Not with cutting, but really softening and understanding that a new world is born as I am born. So always ask for my needs, no matter who, at what range of closeness. If you want, which world, which world do you want to live in? The world of illusion and suffering? A world of pain and asking. <laughs> there is pain. I really want to be understood without speaking. Of course, I have this yearning. I get it that it doesn't work. So I ask. And if I learn to not to depend on your no, then I'm alive. That was the next chapter. <laughs> That's Thank huge. you. Thank you. You're phenomenal. I am phenomenal. Yeah. How do we know that? <laughs> <laughs> The judgment. By being present. By being present. <laughs> it's getting more and more foggy. <laughs> okay, there was a question for the letters on the on the yeah. what do you call it? The triangle? Yes. So the so the bottom part is S C self what? Self what? Connection. Self connection, right. <laughs> Forgot. The S E is self expression. And the OL is other listening. So, as we're closing, I would love to hear what you've taken with you. Something. And especially people who have not spoken yet, if you want to share. Yay.
Thank you. Yeah, so earlier I wanted to ask, uh, I keep making impulsive decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of, um, shoot, now I'm losing my train of thought because of fear, but uh, yeah. I mean, just the, the habits, like the same behaviors over and over because it's what feels yeah. safe for me. But, right, yeah. thanks for realizing that. Mm -hmm. How do you feel understanding that? Um, do you sense that it might open your heart towards you, yes or no? Yes. Good, that's the only thing I care about. The rest will be born differently. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, who else? Yes, go there, please. Thanks. Uh, for what I've learned is um, being able to not let fear get to you. Um, and if you have, let's say, pain, internal pain, you ask a lot of questions mm -hmm. within yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to talk to yourself. In order for you to talk to yourself, you got to um, at least have to come up with solutions of what like what kind of world do you want to live in? Oh, it's not a solution, it's a question. I mean a question, yeah. but a question of of, yeah. of choices, right? Yes, of yes. What, of what world you want to live in. Yes, yes. And and I think that's how once you get through that pain, yeah. then you'll, your heart will open up. Thank you. And you won't, and you won't, um, you, you, you won't, won't only suffer. suffer. Right. <laughs> you'll have some pain, but pain is part of life. Right. Suffering is an invention. Right. Usually. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, I have a question first. Yes. And I'm still thinking about um, <coughs> when you said that um, you did your best. Yes. And, uh, and, and for that situation, I believe so. But do you think that we sometimes choose not to do our best? It's still your best. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Okay. I can I can be yelling at my daughter, and my mind is screaming NVC NVC normal communication. I'm still yelling. This is my best. And I know this is a judgment, but don't you see all, like sometimes people not doing them their best? No. <laughs> you don't have young kids. <laughs> <laughs> you think young kids are not doing their, their best? Intentionally not doing their best. No, 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 no way. I cannot even hear it, what you're saying. Seriously. They're doing the very best they can in this crazy world of all people taller than them and telling them what to do. Please don't forget that. I, I believe they are, um, they are doing their best mo most of the time, but I give you a very simple example. Yes, please. My five-year-old. Yes. I, I dropped him off in his in his classroom. He was asked by the teacher to sit and kill her. Yes. It took him two seconds. He just scribbled a little bit. I know it's not his best. Wait, wait, the wait, teacher. wait, wait. Do you want to learn anything new or just tell me what you know? Choose I, now. I Choose now. <laughs> Choose now. Because if you want to tell me what you know, we don't have a dialogue. I should not judge him. <laughs> You should not judge him. No, it's nothing to I, do with I that. I should not judge him. Wait. Nothing to do with that, okay? Did you do the exercise now? Yeah. Did you do, wait, wait, wait. Answer my question. Do you want to hear anything new or you want to say what you know? It, no, I, I was thinking about that. I think. Answer my question. <laughs> Look what, uh, there you go. That's what the brain does. It does what it knows. Repeat the question. Do you want to hear anything new? Yes. Or just tell me what you know? No, I want to hear something new. So you have to shut down. Choose to shut down. Choose lovingly. Because you want out of that trap. Right? That's a trap. He does what he does. You judge him. He gets angry. You get angry. What's new? You want that forever? That's a choice. Thanks for taking the time. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I am. I, I feel so afraid of saying what I'm thinking. So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? What What is the alternative there? I, I, I am. I am bringing you an alternative. Yeah. To I am. 
I am. Okay. Not what you're going to say. What I am going to say. Did you do the exercise now? Yeah. Okay. Let's step all of us imaginary into this five-year-old body, okay? Why did he do that? Not interested. Not interested. This is one thing. What it's else? Fun. Is what? It's fun. Fun. What else? <laughs> Something deeper. To do. What? Something better to do. Yeah. Deeper. Autonomy. He deeper. Wants he wants it to be done. He wants to be done. Yes. With what? With the kitten. He wants to move on. He wants to move on. What else? Well, I heard autonomy, but I just he just was wanting to break the rules. Why does he want to break the rules? Because I'm an independent person. Attention. attention? Why does he want attention? Because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a person. I'm a person with my own feelings and things. Okay. So can you imagine that whatever he does, what did you say? I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. Okay. All these explanations might be there. There is a deeper one. Okay. Again. Okay. This is a five-year-old for whom every minute of his life is what? Prescribe, Prescribe and dictate. Like other people. Yeah. Taller and stronger. <coughs> Can you get that sensation in your body? <laughs> Can you get the sensation in your body? How would you feel because you were there? You just forgot. It's awful. And no one there really looks let alone sees. So how on earth can I grab attention for the deeper need to be seen, to have a place to be who I am, just who I am, not who you tell me to be? So I will do this. <coughs> Maybe my mom will get it. Maybe. Do you like the explanation? I like it better it's than... Is it true? Yes, I think it's true. <laughs> if I like it, it's something different. <laughs> Love it. Okay. That's it. That's it. I, I will move to what I really learned today. Um, yes. Well, one of the most things is not to limit um, myself with others, other people's judgment, not to worry about others, okay. and have that fear of others judging me. So, okay. Okay. Yes, okay. still I have that fear. <laughs> and you have a great teacher at home to remind you not to be afraid. Five-year-old. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Two more people, and then we wrap up the night. Come on. Yes, and yes. Okay, just a mic. I had a quick question about the chart on the other side where it says vow. Not today. Not today? No. Okay. It's so big. Okay, thank you. And even the students who take the course, it might take them a year to get there. But it's some contract that we do unconsciously with usually with one of our parents, that keeps going through our life. Okay? I see. Thank and you. then we can transform it and really find something else. Okay. And big liberation. I, I could say there were so many things that I've learned today. Mm -hmm. uh, I, but I can't find the one that I'm looking okay, for. Okay, so give me the mic to yes. him and then maybe you'll find it. Thank okay, you. thank you. I enjoyed the real-time engagement yeah. with authentic, authentic conversations. Thank you. And, um, and my needs for learning and inspiration. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Okay, dear people, that was an evening. I enjoyed it. Yeah. You enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for opening yourselves so much as to take this in. This is not easy information. Thank you for joining me, even for even two hours, on my journey of liberation and transformation. And maybe we'll meet online with some of you later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just a real quick thing. Um, just a couple thank yous. First of all, um, Heather is our organizer from Bay NBC, and she's been in the background doing everything. So we wanted to present.